Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I'm a little bit off to the side because I'm going to show you video right here. And it is going to detail my makeup routine. And so, um, kind of like the other side better. So let's do that. There we go. Yeah. That way the clutter in behind me is not quite as much of a big deal. So, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to describe my skincare routine. I have a gap here because I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Um, you'll see that I have the same pajama top on last night when I filmed this video as I have on right now. And so I do want to talk very quickly first about the um, Dermalogica products. I did like them, but I don't know. Toward the end, I was kind of like, I don't know, my skin was feeling a little on the tight side. So I think I would need uh, the different cleanser if I do decide that that is gonna be my skincare routine. But since I'm not married to any system at this point, I'm actually going to go over exactly what I do um, on a normal basis with just some of my other regular products. So I start off first by taking off my eye makeup and I'm currently using Beauty 360. And the reason is because I have like 50 bottles of this. <laughs> this is CVS brand and every now and then they come out with a sale and you get like buy one get one free and I got I have like four bottles of this stuff so it's gonna take a while. Just an FYI my favorite eye makeup remover is this Marcel eye makeup remover and I get this from Birchbox shop. Never stings your eyes ever never ever. Um, after I'm done taking off, well, first of all, I soak cotton pad, I put it over my eyes. I mean, these, this thing is like dripping wet. So I put them over my eyes and I hold them there um, until I can feel like maybe it's starting to sink in. And then I start to very gently rub my eyelashes because that's usually where the biggest makeup issue is. Although this blue eyeliner I know takes forever to get off. After I'm done doing that, I take my cellar water and one of the giant size cotton pads. Just to show you, these are from Ulta. Um, Ulta, by the way, is a cruelty-free brand. And just to give you an idea how big this cotton pad is, it's like as big as half of my face. So I soak one of those in my cellar water and I wipe all of my face makeup off and I do a little bit around my eyes just to see, to make sure that I got all the makeup remover off. I follow up with, I'm learning that I really like oils that are water emulsified because they seem to rinse cleaner. So, but I've been using this sweet almond oil for years and years, years and years and years. So since I'm not married to skincare routine yet, I will, um, I'm showing you basic stuff that I would normally use if I was not trying out new stuff. So I use sweet almond oil and I pour about a quarter size amount into my hand, a good healthy amount. Like the other oils from the more expensive brands, if I used as much as I use of this would cost me a fortune. So I am kind of against spending a lot of money on a pre-cleanse oil. So I'll have to find one that I like. If you have any um, suggestions down below, please leave them below. But please remember, I like to try to remain cruelty-free with all of my products. So if you know a cruelty-free version of a water-soluble oil, let me know. One that's like good for delicate skin. So anyway, I pour about a quarter size amount into the palm of my hand and I dot it all over my face and then I massage it in. And I'm, this is like bedtime routine. I do it in the morning a lot though too. I find it very relaxing to my, massage my face, massage my forehead, go around my eyes, across my sinus area and my chin area. And I really, really rub. So, you know, you can see my skin's kind of moving. Plus I'm, you know, mature skin is a little bit different from young skin but the oil seems to really, really help any dryness that you might have. Then I take that cotton ball, the cotton pad, the same one that I use to get the majority of my makeup off, 
and I just lightly wipe off the oil. A lot of times there's oil left behind, which is okay, because I then go in with my cleansers. Now, I use two CeraVe cleansers. I have both the hydrating cleanser and the foaming cleanser. The reason being, and um, by the way, all these products will be listed below. The reason being is that I like the cleanser that is hydrating cleanser but I like a little bit of foam. So I put a squirt of each in my hand. It's kind of overkill, but it doesn't matter as long as it makes my skin happy. And I rub those two together in my hand and then I rub them all over my face. I take my time working it all in and my forehead and I don't put on my eyes until I know I'm ready to rinse my face off. When that is done, I go in with my Thayer's uh, Witch Hazel Toner. I've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of this stuff. Um, I love it. It's an alcohol-free toner and it's got rose water and aloe in it and um, it doesn't really add moisture. So if you're looking for a moisturizing toner, which I'm kind of looking for for the uh, winter months, Today I started the Erno Lazlo and I have to say that the skin supplement is freaking awesome. And I was like, oh, of course I like the more expensive one more. <laughs> but anyway, um, I do use this and it does seem to get any residue that I have off. Then I let my skin dry. I usually go do something, um, I'll read something, or I'll watch a video. I try to give it a good at least five minutes. Um, it's advised that you give longer than five minutes, and some people don't give any time at all, but then I use my Tretinoin, which is Retin-A, and I do think that this is the stuff that is responsible. That and very careful skincare is the stuff that makes me look a little younger than I really am. I'll be coming out with a video that gives my age and everything. Um, so I do use this and I dot it around my face and I do put it around my eyes and I put it on my neck. And when I first started using it, it was drying my skin out quite a bit. But then after I used it for a little while, it started to work a lot better for me, and so I found that now I can actually put it on my neck. Now, normally I wait. Now, for the purposes of this video, I didn't wait very long, but normally I wait between the Retin-A and any other skincare products that I apply, but I don't think I waited very long. I then go in with my Marcel New Age 8-in-1, which is probably my favorite serum of the moment, or I should say of the year. This stuff is super moisturizing and is perfect for when you're going to use a product like Retin-A and you're really going to like, you're basically hurting your skin every time you use it because it sloughs off uh, dead skin tissue. It helps um, to grow stronger tissue underneath. So I always feel like, okay, it's stuck in the moisture out of me and it can dry your skin out. And so I use this super moisturizing serum. After I use that serum and I pat it in all over on my eyelids too, because your eyelids can get very dry and you can't put Retin-A there. So, you know, of course I wash my hands before I go that far and then I um, apply my moisturizer. Now my favorite nighttime moisturizer after I've done all this is a pretty heavy moisturizer. It is Replenish Hydrating Cream and it's from Skin Medica. This is a very expensive product, but you only use a little bit I got a sample of this or sample or two um, in a beauty fix box and honestly loved it so much that I ended up buying, this is my second tube, buying the full size. 
and I had my husband pick up another tube when he was putting uh, an order through. So this stuff is like super thick. It's almost like as thick as Vaseline, but it's obviously not Vaseline. It's super, super thick. And you can see that's how thick it is. It's like super moisturizing. It's probably my favorite moisturizer, especially I will sometimes use this moisturizer during the winter months when, you know, for daytime moisturizer, when my skin is really, really dry. And once when I injured my skin by using something that was too strong for me, I ended up using this and I actually used actual medical grade Vaseline as well. Um, and, but this is the thing that really fixed my skin. So I do massage this in and that is the last step in my current beauty regimen. Now I will be taping another, let me come, come back to front and center. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you saw everything um, in the video. The lighting is not so great because it's only from overhead. And so next time I'll uh, try to figure out a better lighting situation. But um, it's important to note that I will be doing another skincare routine when I get married to um, whatever is going to be the end, uh, you know, like the end product, my choice of beauty regimens. I don't know if it's going to be Erno Laszlo. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be Dermalogica. Um, at least for the colder months because my skin does get super, super parched dry. Um, I do have on today, I do have on um, Bare Minerals and of course I have quite a bit of blush on but my skin is a little red also from not waiting for very long after my um, washing my face to put my Retin-A on. It's one thing that you have to be caution, cautious about. <laughs> And uh, one thing you do have to watch out for. Some people um, have their skin is strong enough, they can put it on right away. I know um, Hot and Flashy Angie um, puts hers on right away while her skin is still damp, which I've tried. I've gotten closer, like I can wait five minutes and then I can put it on without any irritation. Um, but my skin for some reason is a little bit irritated today. And so, I'll be going in um, as soon as I get home tonight from my outing. We're going out and I probably won't be home till 2.30 in the morning, but I will still um, take all my makeup off and clean my skin and I will put this heavy sucker on just a little heavier than usual. So I will be back with another skincare routine um, in the not too distant future. There are a couple products I do want to try. Um, there's one, it is cruelty free. I did do some investigating and it's called um, May something, um, shoot, I'll, I'll put the name down below, but it looks like something that will help you all your products work better. So I think I'm gonna give that a try and I am going to, during the next six month period, I'm going to nail down a skincare routine that I'm going to stick to. There are a lot out there and so I'm going to be trying a lot of things and if you want to watch me use the Dermalogica, um, I can do that and I can make that like a morning skincare routine. If you would like me to do that, please give it a thumbs up this video and I will do that. I also have the Erno Laszlo so I could do a double morning skincare routine video for you. Uh, I'll just take one one day and one the other day and we'll marry them into one video. So if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any comments or any cleansers and things that work really well for you, bear in mind they have to be cruelty free, um, then you know, give me some suggestions. I love luxury. I love regular. I love, I'll try anything. Um, as long as it's not going to hurt my skin. So anyway, thank you very much. And um, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them. Thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.